guy installs a chip into his arm. Whoa! What's up guys, my name's Dave Wapple and welcome to I.O. So Tim Cannon might actually be the very first person to install an electronic device into his arm. So this self-described biohacker decided to perform surgery on himself to install a chip that's the size of a deck of cards. So why did he perform this on himself? Well, he tried to go to a surgeon and they said no. They're not going to perform anything that is not approved by the American health system. But he's so devoted to what he's going to do that he decided to grab himself a scalpel, put some ice on that thing to numb it up and just started hacking away. Now when hearing about this I had to do some background check. What does this guy do for a living? Well he's apparently a software developer and works for a company called Grindhouse Wetaware which is a company that's dedicated to augmenting humanity. So he claims to be the first person to have a device installed into his own body. Clearly he's never heard of pacemakers. So you're probably wondering to yourself what does this thing do? So for all of his passionate dedicated work he's installed a chip that only reads his body temperature. See to me personally honest I was expecting something like Inspector Gadget or Iron Man sort of stuff. Like maybe it'll shoot a beam out. But body temperature really? See this device actually communicates to his Android app via Bluetooth and every single time he gets a fever he gets a little message. So you gotta check out some of the photos. I mean he had to sew himself up. But wait a minute he had to sew himself up. What happens if this thing runs out of batteries? So let me ask you this cyborg and cyborgettes. Do you think that this technology being thrown into your arm is pretty much completely useless? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Let's ride.